Hey guys, what is up? My name is Sean Rousselt and welcome to my Delphi programming series. Uh, so in this video I decided it's time that we make our own little uh, code editor. So here before me I have Notepad++ open. Like I can, I can even go and open Visual Studio Code or something else. Such as we just did Visual Studio Code. Um, I can have them side by side. Um, okay, yeah, it's open. So, so these um, two programs are called code editors, and they're basically used to just edit code. And today we're going to be, we are going to make we are going to be making our own little uh, code editor. We're going to be using some um, ideas from both of these, um, from Visual Studio Code and from Notepad++. You can go and you can go and download both both of them. Um, I'll have them both in the description. Let me just make a new page. Ah, fuck. Not that. I should not use to Notepad. Ah, the Visual Studio Code. Does I have a new file? I'll say. Good. Okay. So yes, I'm going to be using stuff from both of them. But mostly from Notepad++. Let's see. We, we, we might make this, this little cool uh, sidebar here. Okay, so let's start. Shit. Okay, so here I have created a VCL Forms application and I've installed the SynEdit um, components. I'll also have the link in the, in, the, in the description of those components. But you can also use the um, Get It Package Manager from Tools and Get It Package Manager. The SynEdit components suite should be available in the, get, in the Get It Package Manager. If it's not any, or, it, or, or it won't install, then check down in the descri in the um, description of, of this video. I'll have the link to the um, source code, and you can install it manually. I have made a video previously um, where I taught how to um, install components manually. Uh, yes, it's video 52, uh, titled "Installing Third-Party Components." So go check out that video if you don't know how to install it manually. Anyway, let's start. Let's start by adding a main menu and recreating this or just making a main menu for us. So first let's make a file and an edit. I'll make a file, edit and the language for now. Okay. File, edit and language okay and in a f let's open notepad plus plus again um, for now let's just add a okay, let's add a new I'll just add some stuff I feel like adding file okay then we can have a new we can have a Open. We can have a save, and we can have a save as. Let's right click and add a separator, and then we can just add an exit. Let's see what we're missing, or or what we can add. Mm, yeah, that's fine. In edit. We can have undo, redo, cut, copy, paste. Yeah, we can add all those stuff. No, let's add that. Undo, redo. This is only going to be part one of the um, video. It's going to be divided into plenty of parts. Okay. Let's see what else there is. Uh, there's a cut, copy, paste. Cut. There's a copy. And there's a paste. Let's go back to Notepad. And let's also add a select all. Yeah. 
select all and the in language let's see how they made it okay into like that okay for now, for now let's just add um, Pascal as a language and HTML you can add more languages later also I'm add them myself now now and then you'll just you'll, you'll just see it appear okay so now that we have a main menu let's actually code some of the stuff okay let's code the exit button for now go to the click on exit events and the on click event you'll want to write application dot terminate okay let's set let's set some shortcut keys for them in the properties shortcut will make the new control in open will be control o save will be uh, control s save as will be control shift s yeah oh. Control. Where is it? Doesn't seem like. Let's type it ourselves then. Control. Shift plus. Shift plus S. Exit will be. Alt plus F4. Edit. Not sure whether redo and undo is. I think it's uh, okay. Undo is control Y. Redo is control Z. Set. Cut is control not C. It's control X. This is control C, base is control P, and select all is control mm, A. Language, then I can be selecting anything. But now to test if it works, let's somehow go to the copy event on click and let's just write an form one dot color colon equals CL blue. Okay, so when we click on the copy one, it will make the form go blue. So let's test it. Let's click on it and the form goes blue. Okay, let's go out and compile again. And now I'm going to be using the shortcut key, which is uh, control C. So I'm going to go and press control C now on my keyboard. So control C, shut up, first click here, control C and it turns blue. Okay, so that works. Now let's remove the code for it. Okay, now let's add sun edit. If you can't get the sun edit to, in to install, um, like you really can't get it to install, like nothing works, then just use a memo and ignore the languages. Like just make a simple, you know, um, they just make a simple. Um, not bad, I guess. But yeah, try try to get it, try to get it, try to get it to work. So let's add a sin memo component. Align it to AL client. Okay. Let's compile and see how, what this does. So now we just have a simple. Um, text text memo field here that works fine as you as you can see let's actually give the caption the form let's call it I'm gonna call mine result code editor I'm gonna name the form home or main main form okay I'm gonna name my project result code it uh, yeah let's call it that okay 
Now let's actually see if we can't get the opening to work. Okay, let's go and go to opening, add an open dialog to the form. For this part, I'm not sure how long this video is now, but for this part we're just going to maybe making the open dialog work so that it opens a file. Okay. So go to the main menu and let's get the code for the open one. So if the open dialog, let's actually name these things nicely. Actually we can just name it, keep it open dialog. Yeah, okay. Open dialog dot execute then begin. So if it executes, then we start doing this code. Which is simply let's name this sin memo uh, code editor. So if the code editor so it's a code code editor dot lines dot load from file and the file will be open dialog dot file name which is the file we have selected um, in the open dialog and this file will then be loaded into the lines of the code editor so let's see if this works let's compile okay we go to file open the open dialog opens let's go select a file um, Let's select a Pascal file. Ah, okay, so the Pascal file opens. So that works. Nice. Let's actually remove the begin and end here. I think we can actually even also do the um, the save now. Okay. Or the save as. Let's do the save as. Let's so add a save dialog to the form. And let's call it save dialog. So the save as will be will be pretty much the same. We'll say if save dialog dot execute, then it will code editor dot lines dot save to file. And to what file will it save? It will save to the save dialog dot file name, which is what we have, will be selecting. So let's compile now. So let's load or not save. Let's load or open a file. I'm gonna select the Pascal file again. Here's my Pascal file. It's still loading. Let's say yes. Here's my Pascal file. I'm gonna go and save as. Here in this year, save as dialog opens. I'm gonna to go to my desktop. Currently, there isn't any types here. We'll add that. I'm just gonna save the file as um, jacko.pass. Save it. And now it's saved. So now, if I go to my desktop, ah, I see here the file is saved jacko.pass. Okay, and I can go into it in Notepad for instance. Let's remove some stuff. So now it just has this stuff. Let's save this. Oops, not save. Ah. Uh, now I'm trying to save all of, all of the files in here. Just wait. Again, so now Yaku, now Yaku or Jacko is saved. Let's go back into Delphi. Let's compile and load the Jacko file into it. So open. And now we can load again our Jacko file or, or our pass file named Jacko. Ah, here it is loaded. Okay, so that works. Nice. And exit also works, of course. So boom. Okay, so guys, so thanks for watching. Um, this video was just a short video to get the basics down of creating a code editor, which is, of course, loading files, saving files, and writing stuff so yes thanks for watching guys if this video helped you in any way then please make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos and i'll see you in the next video bye